Hey folks, Big Woodsman here today. We're in the new shop and I got a really interesting project on the go. We've got two antique street lights. It came from a small rural town. They lit up the uh, street from above. We're gonna take those and we're gonna recondition them and rebuild them for an energy efficient light for over top of our big bay doors here in the new shop. So stay tuned, let's see what we get into. So I bought these lights at an auction sale. We were looking for a nice big shaded light for above the big bay doors in our new shop. So we picked these lights up for a great deal at the auction. So what we have here is an antique street light that hung above the street in a small rural community. They need a bit of work, they're in a bit of rough shape. We're going to go ahead, we're going to fix them, we're going to put them back into good shape. We've got a few bent pieces, but all in all, we can work with this. The bulb that's inside is a very large incandescent bulb. We're going to be taking that out, removing the guts, and we're going to be putting in a smaller socket that will house an LED bulb. So we're going to make this light so it comes down through the aluminum into the glass bulb section and that way the light will be broadcast down below. So this is the one that we have that we're gonna be working on. I'm gonna show you right here, the one that we already have completed. So this is what the completed product will look like. And before the comments explode and people ask me, oh man, why did you paint it black? What did you do? Should have left it original. Every single accent that's on our current shop right here is all black. All the hinges are black, all the hardware is black, everything, the railing on the back of our barn is all black. So I'm not looking to keep these exactly original. I'm looking to have them look good on our facility, yet be functional and efficient. So this is what the end product's gonna be like. So let's get into this guy, take it apart and start working on it. So the first thing we're going to do is remove this giant shade from the light. We have to be very careful. The last thing we do want to do is break this. If we ever broke it, we'd never replace it. So the light has two clips on it to hold on the shade, one on either side. So we just have to undo these. You can see the light has a safety chain on it. This is so when the workers are working above the street, if the shade ever got out of their hands, it didn't drop and fall to the street below. So now the whole unit just slides off, exposing the light bulb. Now look at the size of that light bulb, man. Wow. So the original socket is held in with two screws. They're rusted in here pretty bad. We can't seem to budge them. So we're gonna try hitting it with our hammer, the top of our screwdriver. It works similar to an impact wrench, hopefully breaking the rust. So we just give this a few little taps. And now we try to get it. Nice, the screw comes free pretty easily. So there's the first screw out. Now the second screw, we're basically gonna do the exact same thing. This one took a bit more force, but out she comes. So a little trick for you, if you ever have stuck screws, feel free to give a little tap with your hammer. It works similar to an impact wrench. Gets things moving. So now we need to run some new wiring in our light. And so we're going to take a piece of 14-2 wire. We're going to attach it to the existing wire in the light using electrical tape. And as we pull the old wiring out, it's going to fish the new wiring right through. The old wiring's been in this lamp for who knows how long. It's old, it's brittle, and is in desperate need of replacing. So now we've got our wire taped on. We're gonna pull the old one out. And fish the new one through. Making this bend up here at the top is about the hardest part, but 
feels like we got it. And we did. So now what we've done is we've chased a 14-2 electrical wire right through the whole piece. Exterior grade, we're all good to go. Decorative scroll work. We have to undo our bolts, we have to straighten it, square it. We have a uh, issue with this end. It's, uh, hopefully you can see that. It's bent tight, we need to open that back up. So we're gonna have to take this into the vise and we're gonna have to open up and stretch and re-bend this. Well, the first thing we need to do is loosen off our bolts and hopefully these will come. Oh. And they don't wanna budge either. That's a problem with working with really old equipment. Nothing wanna move. So we're going to have to get the penetrating oil out, we're going to have to let this sit, we're going to have to come back and hopefully we can get these out. So we've come back after a while and we've managed to get these bolts loosened. So took a little bit of brute force and ignorance they call it. So now that we have these clamps loose, we can go ahead, we can shift this decorative piece up, make sure it's square to the end of it. Everything is adjusted properly, and then we can bolt it all back together. So we're gonna set that up on the floor, square it up, and re-bolt it. So here's the next step. We have a piece of thin flat stock steel. What we're going to be doing is we're gonna be bending that into a U-shape piece that is going to mount in the two screw holes where that original socket was. So we're gonna make up a new piece with this. We're gonna to have to drill it, tap it, and ready to go into this. And then we picked up a lamp repair porcelain socket. I'll put in the link in the description for these. This is for a 80 watt, so it'll take the power that we're going to put in, and we're going to mount that right about there. And then we're gonna rewire this in with the new wire that we've put through. And that way our LED bulb will show in the glass of our shroud. It won't be held way down in here that you won't see it. So we have to raise this up so it'll hang right where it needs to. So that's the next step. So let's go ahead and bend and make this bracket. So I'm gonna go back to the vise and to the um, anvil and we're gonna bend this into a U-shaped bracket that's gonna have tabs that's gonna fit directly into this socket. So here's the original socket that was well down inside this because the bulb was about 10 inches long. We've taken it out. We've created out of that flat iron a very similar piece. It's much taller because the light bulb's only going to be a couple inches tall, so that way it gets around the aluminum shade and actually puts the light into the globe. We've gone ahead and we've mounted a lamp thread piece into the top, and then with our socket, it threads right on the top of this. So now we have a new porcelain socket that can mount right inside our lamp. And that will accept a 120 volt light bulb. So let's go ahead and we'll mount this in with the original screws. So now the last part to do is wire this socket, ground the uh, wiring, wire it up, and then we can go ahead and we can paint this whole piece. So when wiring a socket, if you've never wired a socket before, I'll just quickly go over that. It has two screws on the back. You have a gold one and a silver one. This goes for most standard 120 volt wiring. The gold one goes to the center tab, which is the hot, the silver one is the neutral and it's the white wire. So in this case, I've created two um, little jumper wires here. The black wire, which is your hot wire, is gonna go to the gold screw and the white is gonna go to your neutral. They correspond with our wiring that we have here. 
So we're going to mount this and then connect these in and then put it all together. So we've mounted our two wires to the socket. We've got white to the neutral, black to the hot. We've put it through the center of our socket piece and it comes right up through the hollow thread and now it can adjoin. So when we mount this in, we have a nice clean finish wiring. So it's time to go to the paint booth and let's paint all this up. So let's go to that step. So this next step requires nothing fancy. We're just using a straight old can of trim clad rust paint, black high gloss, covers up metal rust really well. Just rattle can it. So now that we have our light back from being painted, we are going to install our new bracket in the bell housing and we're going to screw it back in place using its existing hardware. So before we put the second screw in, we're going to put a little loop on our ground wire and we're going to attach the ground wire to this solid metal frame to ground out the electrical source. So with our pliers, we're just going to make a nice round loop on the end of our ground wire. So now our screw and our nice new washer should fit right inside that loop. You may have to open it up slightly to get it to where it's exactly right for the threads. Now the next thing to do is detach this bracket with this screw and the ground wire straight through onto that terminal. So now with our ground wire attached, our new bracket, our sockets attached, all we have to do is now connect our wiring. We have neutral to neutral and black hot to black hot. Very simple. We've color coded it. So get yourself a pair of wire strippers and you're only stripping off about half an inch to three quarters of wire. Do that on both wires. So the copper is a solid core, the light bulb is a stranded core. So you want to twist these together and basically make them a solid core. And now we're going to attach black to black. Once we have those twisted nicely, we're going to take our marette and we're going to thread on our marette and that locks that electrical terminal together. So there's one down. There's the second.
So now all we have to do is fold our wires down inside our light and it's ready for the shade to go back on. So here we have our light back. It's all fully painted. We've got our socket installed. It's all wired up. We have our shade back. It's all been freshly painted. The only thing left to do is set it over top. We're not going to worry about putting a bulb in just yet because we still have to mount these to the building. So we'll put the bulb in at that point in time. So there we have it, both our lamps back together, reconditioned, simple bulbs, ready to go for an LED. So there you have it folks, that's how we reconditioned a couple of antique street lights that came from a rural community. We're going to be hanging them above the big bay doors behind here in our shop. I will be posting a video on how we built this shop over a few um, segments of video. You're going to see it right from ground up on how we built it. And at the very end of the video, you're going to see these lights hung above these doors. So stay tuned. Keep an eye out for that. So it's a great project. Happy to have you along. Remember, like, subscribe, hit those buttons. Keeps this place rolling. So remember, it's life out there in the woods. I'll see you out there in it.